Hey guys, just another quick five minute fix. I have internet speeds that are insanely fast. I got the 1.2 gigabit from Xfinity and uh, the only way to really take advantage of that is to get a multi-gig 2.5 gigabit ethernet adapter. I picked up this Cable Matters adapter which it works great, but if you check the reviews on Amazon, you'll see a lot of people talking about it overheating and thermal throttling. So I'm just gonna show you how to deal with that. When I did it, I broke one of the clips. I'll show you. It has clips, it's not glued in. Hopefully I can get this out again. Probably your best idea is to get something in there like a metal spudger and push in on that so you don't snap it off don't do like me. <laughs> Alright, now, so you're going to try to get it out. It does nothing happens. It's stuck. Well, right here, that's an LED indicator. You have to push that out with a butter knife. So take your butter knife, stick it under there until you feel you hit something. Get under it and push it up. Yeah, this is easier the first. There we go. And just kind of push it up once it's up you can pull it out and now easy peasy so i've already done it um if you get a raspberry pi uh heat sink kit one of them is the perfect size this chip i checked it with a fleer this is the th only thing that really gets hot this and that which i'm gonna guess is some kind of a voltage regulator this guy doesn't get hot this big thing doesn't get hot Maybe these resistors around it get hot. The chip itself was getting up to 140, 150 degrees Fahrenheit. With this on it, I'm not sure that this thermal transfer pad is the best. Nevertheless, the top of this only gets up to maybe 90 degrees. So I suspect that little heat sink is probably going to prevent your thermal throttling issues. There's not enough room to put one on the bottom. Perhaps if you could find something real thin that you could attach to this, you could improve it and getting better, a better connection with this and the chip, that's gonna help you out. Just for reference here, there's a quarter so you can see the size. These things are so cheap. I don't know, maybe you can even get them by themselves and it'd be even cheaper. I imagine it'd be a couple cents. After doing that and running it, uh, as I said, this thing only got up to maybe 90 degrees, which you're not gonna have any throttling issues. So now, it just slides back in. Don't forget to reinsert your LED light guide. There, put that back in and snap the cover back on. Eh, boom, done. Less than five minutes and it's repaired. All right guys, thanks for watching.